Hey guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with another Amazon unboxing. And you guys, this is not diamond painting, but it is artsy and crafty. And I'm really excited to open this. Now, disclosure. I opened, th I ordered three things all on the same day and they did not come in all on the same day. So I'm ordering, opening them one at a time as they come in, all right? So everything got sent separately, which is weird, but it's something Amazon likes to do. And where is the beginning of this? Open here. I think I'm gonna have to use the scissors for this. I can feel my item is down here. So if I make a little cut at the top, I won't be hurting my item. And I'm so excited, you guys. So this is the Country Autumn Coloring Book. Oh my God, I just smashed the camera. Okay, so this is a beautiful, the Country Autumn Coloring Book by Jade Summer. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Look at that. So, let's see how thick it is. So, I got this on Amazon.ca from the Jade Summer Store. And right now, this is on for $9.99, and that is exactly what I paid for it. $9.99. And one thing that I liked about this on Amazon.ca is it showed you all of the um, the artwork that you would get inside, the coloring pages. It showed you everything. So I thought that was really neat because there were a lot of books that just showed you the front cover, the back cover, and maybe one or two pictures. Now the problem is they had um, a big thing in, in the between, like a big black bar in the middle that said um, Country Autumn by Jade Summer. And I imagine the reason they did that was so people couldn't just do a screen grab and then resell the images or just color them online. So anyway, so it was kind of hard to make them out. You could kind of see, but they did give you an idea. So I will be going through this, but I'm just really loving this, co this cover. It just really appeals to me. So anyway, I bought this in honor of fall because I love all things fall. Um, fall used to be my very favorite season. I still love that. I love it a lot. But as I've gotten older, spring has kind of taken the lead because our winters are so long here in northern Ontario, Canada, you guys. So that I start getting sad in the fall when the leaves are falling because I know the winter's going to be so long. When I was a little girl, I didn't care. I loved playing outside in the snow. Now winter just means long days of staying indoors. Um, I can't go out when it's too cold. It really hurts my breathing. But... Um, I do try, like if it's not super cold, like if it's not 30 below or 25 below. If it's warmer than 15 below, then I can still go outside. Celsius. So anyway, you guys, I love the fall. And I just thought this was beautiful. And look how beautiful the back cover is. And I guess this gives you an idea of how the artwork could look. So I don't know what she... These almost look like digital to me. Um, it says here... Jo Joshua Denbar is a professional professional illustrator and holds a Master of Fine Arts from the Savannah College of Art and Design. He works part-time as an art teacher and he loves sharing his passion for illustration and the art of storytelling. And Alexandra Francisi is a professional illustrator and holds a Bachelor's in Illustration from the Ringling College of Art and Design. The Ringling College, huh. Alexandra also mentors art students. But then it says it's the Jade Summer book. So is Jade Summer a person or is it Jade Summer a company? Because it seems like this was done by Joshua Dunbar and Alec Francisi. So maybe Jade Summer is the name of the company. I don't know. Does anyone know? I'm new to adult coloring books, so. But doesn't that pie with ice cream look amazing? And look at that pretty truck with all the pumpkins. I love art. I'm trying to learn how to do art. And um, sometimes I just don't want to do it because it takes too much brain powder, power. And I just want something that 
gives me that feeling without having to actually draw anything. Oh, here. Thank you for choosing Jade Summer. Jane Summer is a brand owned by the Fritzen Publishing LLC and represents the work of multiple artists. Okay. And is registered in the U.S. All right. So Jade Summer is a brand, not a person. Okay. So here you can learn more about the artists who actually did these ones. And here's the cover. They give you this as the first one. I love that, and I will not be doing it first. I always try to save the ones I love the most to do later when I have more experience. You would think at my age I have lots of experience, and that is pretty. And I believe that's one of the ones from the back. Yeah, this is the back cover. And now there's only um, illustrations on one side. The other side is blank. And that's really nice because that will help with bleed through. But I guess I could probably still put a piece of printer paper in between when I'm working. But I probably won't be working with markers. I probably will be working with pencil crayon. And I recently ordered a set of 72 um, pencil crayons from Amazon Basics. So here's the one with the pumpkin and the scarecrow in the door. And that is the third one that they showed all colored and illustrated. And isn't it amazing how just something like this can be transformed to something like this with color and shading? To me, it is anyway. So here we have Hello Fall. Oh, and I'll be able to do some of these for um, Diamond Grandma's Fall, you all. No, not you all. That's Canadian. Fall, y'all. Fall, y'all. I can't quite say that, but oh my God, how much do I love that beautiful accent. Oh, look at the squirrel. That is adorable. I love squirrels. I love squirrels. I think I did three squirrel diamond paintings already this year. And I have, I have a squirrel stuffed animal. Here, hang on. I'll, I'll show you. It's right by my bed, so I can just reach over. I get my squirrel. It's because I have like AD, adult ADHD, so I'm always like, squirrel. As you can probably tell from my videos, I get distracted quite easily. Hello, squirrel. You want to sit with kitty just for a while? Here. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, well, I'll just lean him over here. Oh, you can't even see him. Here. Well, no, it doesn't matter. See, I just got squirreled by the squirrel. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> or coloring book, as you may. So here is the pretty squirrel. I love that with the mushrooms and the tree stump and all of the leaves. I love that. And here we have a beautiful majestic tree with the leaves falling and a house in the distance. And I can learn so much by looking at this because I don't have any artist training. Um, I think I, I went to a Catholic high school that didn't have art. So it wasn't until I transferred to a public high school in grade 12 that I got to take art. So I only have one year of high school art, and that is it. But I've always loved art, but I have no training in it other than what I watch on YouTube. And like sometimes taking an online course. I And I did take a watercolor painting class that was like a six-week thing a long time ago. But I've always loved art, you guys. And this is really pretty. It has the thankful pillow and the flowers. And it's got the little lantern and the gourds and the fallen leaves. I'm always so sad when I see the first fallen leaf. Even though I love the fall, it just, I always feel so sad. And then I'm so happy when everything grows again in the spring. And I think that's just from getting older because fall was my favorite time of year. And I do love it. I love the colors and I'm in an area. We have majestic falls here with all of the colors. I'm surrounded by forest. This is very cute. We've got the wagon wheel with the bunny, the birds. And look at that little mouse. I love mice. I do love this. Like, how do people think of drawing this? Like, one thing I want to understand. I can draw if I look at something. And like, if I were to look at this, I could draw it. Not as well as the artist has drawn it. But I can't draw out of my head. Like, if I close my eyes and I think, okay, I want to draw a rabbit. I can't remember what a rabbit looks like. I've looked at rabbits and squirrels and cats all my life, but unless I look at an image, I cannot, for the life of me, draw it. 
How do people remember what things look like well enough to draw them out of their brain? I, I, there's very few things I can draw just out of my brain. I have to look at stuff. This is beautiful. I like the way the pathway zigzags to the little barn and the trees in the foreground and the flowers and the hay bales. It's so pretty. And we have some oil. My mom is Italian. She loves olive oil. I love olives, but I'm not really a fan of olive oil. I don't like the taste. If I would rather have butter than oil, which is not good for your cholesterol. Ooh, pretty little river with a little waterfall. More falling leaves. This is gorgeous, you guys. I hope you can see it okay. I know you're not seeing like the whole thing. I'd have to tilt it sideways, but then. Wait, you know what I could do is I, oh, shoot. Okay. Is that better? I'm sorry. But then I have to bring it closer for, so you could see the details. I don't know. Is this better or worse? Oh, this is so pretty. I love this one with the horses and the duck. I love ducks. And the water. I, I love creeks and rivers and streams and lakes. And I've only been to the ocean um, for one week on a cruise. And then for I went near the ocean when I was visiting my cousin in California. And that is it. So I know I would love the ocean too if I had access to it. And the La Lake Superior is like an inland ocean. It's really big. Oh, look, there's even a cat in the tree. This is so beautiful. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm not ready to go. Look, I just noticed there's a fish. Okay, this is my favorite one so far. I love this one. This is a beautiful book. I'm so glad I got it. Okay, we've got a little shed. It reminds me of my shed that I had at my old house before I sold my house. I used to have, um, on this side of the shed, I had big sunflowers, and on this side I had this, I can't remember what it was called, I think it was like a, a white hydrangea bush. I, I just called it a snowball bush. It was like a bush with big white flowers that looked like giant snowballs on the other side. It was so pretty, and I had roses climbing on my fence everywhere. I had apple tree, a big, big apple tree. I had a cherry tree, and I had lots of lilac trees. Raspberry bushes, blueberry bushes. Well, not bushes, but plants. A few strawberry plants, but most mostly raspberry. Here's some food. I see some cheese. Oh, that's nice. Some apple juice or apple cider. It must be apple cider because they're in mugs with cinnamon sticks. I love apple cider. When I used to live in southern Ontario, I used to... Uh, there used to be farms that you could go apple picking at the farms and the apples were so good and they had like hay rides and they had all, all the stuff like pumpkins, fields of big giant pumpkins and they always served hot apple cider and I loved going there in the fall. That was back when I was teaching. Oh, to get the puppies and the mama dog. Look how cute. I guess it could be a daddy dog. I, I feel like it's a mummy dog. A nice wreath on a wooden paneling with some gourds and some acorns. Ah, a basket of eggs and a chicken and some chicks and some flowers. And look how this one's running. This reminds me of childhood. I swear I have colored this exact one, like the baby chick running in my childhood in maybe an Easter book. I used to love coloring when I was little. I used to have to hide my coloring books from my little brother because he would just scribble on every page, like right across. He's five years younger than me. He used to break all my toys. He was so bad. He was very cute, though. 
But yeah, he loved breaking all my stuff and scribbling and all my stuff. That's, that's a little brother for you. And then when I, I had this doll that I loved, like this I'm going to age myself, it was Tippy Toes. She was this little doll that could walk and she could push a horse and ride a tricycle. And she was so cool for the time. And my brother threw her down the stairs and her head fell off. And my best friend, Lori, always wanted everything exactly the same as me. So her mom also got her the Tippy Toes doll for Christmas. Well, Santa did, right? So when my brother... um threw my doll down the stairs she threw hers down the stairs too and the head didn't come off so she kept doing it till the head came off i was like no don't don't break your doll but she wanted everything the same as me even right down to the broken dolls she's still my best friend but she no longer would throw down a doll down the stairs <laughs> we're not even anymore but we're still best friends just trick or treat Ooh, caramel apples now that same very best friend her mom, Lucy, always made car caramel apples every um, Halloween. Did I say Easter instead of Halloween? I feel like I said Easter instead of Halloween. But we used to get them every Halloween. They were my favorite. Oh, look how cute the little piggy. A little piggy in a barrel or no, a pail. With some flowers and another gourd. Oh, that's nice. It's a fall flea market. I would like to go to that flea market. I never see nice things like this at a flea market. Look how nice everything is. Look at that little dolly and the teapot and the jewelry and the lamp. The teddy bear. That's a very nice flea market. This is so cute in the church. The stained glass windows in the bow. The details in these pictures are just lovely. I don't put this much detail when I draw. I'm just learning how to draw and I get so tired. I think people must take days to draw pictures with more detail or they're fast because it takes me forever. Oh, good. Here's one this way. I can turn it this way and fit it in the camera. That's nice. There's the truck with pumpkins sold here out of the back of the truck. And look at the little bird. Look at the two little birds on top and the nice falling leaves. We've got a barn and a silo. And... A windmill and I just like the way the trail goes off into the background what is that called perspective I have to learn perspective and drawing this is gorgeous so this is gonna be a take me forever I am so sorry you guys if you're bored you can just skip through so here are some kitties oh they're adorable look how cute And a wheelbarrow. I'll try to go a little bit faster. And a fall scene with the fall pillow again. It looks like a swing overlooking a lake with the mountains in the background. And a lace rug. That's gorgeous. Like the details, crazy. I wish I would have learned more in art. I, it's never too late. I am still learning. I'm learning a lot. I have learned a lot in the last year since I bought my iPad and Procreate. My problem is I don't retain new information easily. I have to learn the same thing like 20 times before it sticks. Do any of you have that problem? Is it just getting older? Oh, isn't that pretty? That's lovely. Hey, Diamond Grandma, I'm thinking of you when I see these. You like these for your diamond paintings. Isn't that pretty? And, oh, that's nice, too. These are all really great. And I love, I love country. I love everything country. I live in a city, but my heart is country and nature, the wilderness. I spent a month, well, not a month, more than a month, two months, I guess, of every summer from the time school got out at the end of June until still school started again after Labor Day in September. I spent every day out on Lake Superior at our camp as a child. All my summers were spent in the woods along the lake. Beautiful summers I had as a child. And now as an adult, I usually go to camp for the last two weeks in August and the first week in September if the weather permits, 
and this year I had planned to go earlier. I was going to go for the whole month of August, but unfortunately, um, we had a death in the family, so I couldn't go. So we were all in shock for about a week because my cousin was my age and he went suddenly from a heart attack. And he is the third person we've lost to a heart attack this year. And we almost lost a fourth cousin. So I lost two of my uncles, one of my cousins, and almost a third cousin. She had a heart attack last month. She's still in the hospital. She'd been in the hospital more than a month. But she's doing much better. She survived. Linda survived. But Stan, Carlo, and Wayne did not. And I bought everybody in my family pill containers to carry aspirin with them. Reminds me of Little House on the Prairie style. So cute. I loved Little House on the Prairie growing up. Did you guys? Or you're probably too young to remember Little House on the Prairie. And the Waltons. I love the Waltons. But I love the Waltons more in reruns when I was older. When I was little, I much preferred Little House. But when I got older, I loved the Waltons. And I love squirrels so much, you guys. Here's like a Thanksgiving scene. Oh, a bridge. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love bridges. They are so meaningful to me. I love this one. I'm super excited. And we have an acorn and some leaves, a branch, and in the distance, a little house. I have to learn how to do that. Oh, Mama Cow and her calf. That's adorable. Oh, and a little milk pail. Aww. That's darling. These artists are very good. I have a lot of respect for them. Oh, raking leaves. I used to love to jump in the leaf piles when I was little. I even liked raking leaves when my asthma wasn't bad. But when my asthma is bad, I cannot do that. Some turkeys. A little deer in a... Is that a cabin or is that one of those covered bridges? I can't quite tell. What do you guys think? Cabin or covered bridge? Oh, this is taking so long. My hand is getting sore from holding the book. Give me a second. I have a little bit of arthritis. And we have this pretty kitty. She reminds me of the one from the Aristocrats. No, Aristocats, right? Corn maze. We have a corn maze in town. The, my friend and I went in it a few years ago. Well, it was before COVID. It was a few years before COVID. So more than a few years ago. And like we were lost in the corn maze for three hours. And at Halloween, they have zombies and people chasing you with them. Um, with like fake chainsaws and it's really cool. So this is homegrown. That's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. An old fashioned sewing machine and some yarn and threads and embroidery. I love it. And the old fashioned chair back and the mirror in the window. That's really cool. And look at that, look at the owl. And this is like a more of a broken down home, like maybe a witch's house. Look at the roof is coming in. And there's a cauldron. And there's a salamander. Oh, look, there's a bat. I just saw the bat. Okay, these are so detailed. You see something new, like every time you look. I, I love that. I would have loved this coloring book as a little girl, you guys. Oh, bobbing for apples and pin the tail on the donkey. It's a harvest party. That's adorable. My mom, my mom, my, my best friend's mom used to have parties just like this for Lori. 
my mom, she had parties for me, but they were, they were cake and cookies and ice cream and we'd sing happy birthday and eat. They were that kind of parties. And then we kids would just go do whatever. But Lori's mom did parties with pin the tail and the donkey and apple bobbing and uh, musical chairs and all, all of that stuff. She loved throwing parties for kids. Well, I don't know if she loved it, but she did it. Her parties were awesome. But I love my parties, too, my, my quieter parties. And one year we went to McDonald's. I think it was when McDonald's first opened. Me and my brother both had, had a party at McDonald's, and we really loved that. That was the beginning of McDonald's, you guys. That's how old I am. I was here for, like, the opening of McDonald's. And they used to have, like, a party room for kids. And, oh, my God, did we love it. I love this one, General Store. I love General Stores. Whenever I'm driving, well, before COVID anyway, if I saw a General Store, I would stop and go in. I, I just love an old-fashioned General Store. And I'm in Canada, so we have General Stores, but we also have trading posts, which are really cool. I like going into a trading post as well. And here is the bonus page, and I think that is the cover again. And it's really pretty. And here's an easier one. And I, I do like that. That's nice. And that's a bonus page. And here's another bonus page, an easier one. And I do like that. That's cute. That's adorable. And if you would like to show your support, we would greatly appreciate a rating or review on Amazon. I wonder if I can share a link to this video on Amazon. Would they like that? And they want us to view and share completed pages. Um, and you can purchase digital editions. And you can download 100 coloring pages for free. Cool. You guys, if you have kids, go check it out at jadesummer.com. Or if you're like me, an adult who likes to color, check it out. So that was my first Jade Summer of, um, coloring book. And it is gorgeous, and I love it. And just looking at the colors here makes me happy. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Thank you for spending all this time with me. And my cat and my squirrel say thank you, too. Thank you. So anyway, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I apologize for taking so long. Um, take care. Stay safe. Bye for now. And happy coloring, guys! Bye.